What's going on everybody? Today we are doing the third aspect for the Barbarian character in God of Weapons. It has been really fun to play as a Barbarian because it's really towards my playstyle. Just attack really fast, attack really hard, and I think the third aspect here might have a little bit of a twist on the Barbarian character, but we're, we'll check it out together here and see what she's all about. So let's jump in. So Barbarian, the Singularist. Okay, this doesn't sound like my playstyle. <laughs> Plus 10 vi vitality, more attack damage, more attack speed, but you lose damage when you have extra weapon count. I see what's happening here. So I would say we do want to use like one weapon probably, but I'm going to say we can go with two for a while without uh, too much penalty. Plus one damage for every new inventory slot that's not used. Interesting. Okay. So we want something pretty big. The cleaver is kind of cool. But it relies on having adjacent things to be really good. I feel like... The flaming claw can power itself up, which is interesting. But I feel like the Power Fist is just going to be the right look for the Singularist. So just like really punching enemies far away and hopefully we're doing it often. So this is adjacent weapons gain bonus damage equal to the number of items in inventory if they are not adjacent to any other weapon. Right. So that's totally fine. The Shackle only needs to touch one item really because we're only ha gonna have one weapon. So we're going in with the Power Fist, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> I miss, I misread ya. Do you like Grape Jello? Everyone loves Grape Jello. I guess there are two questions in the chat. How are you? And also, what's your favorite Jello? flavor which came from me okay come on come on sweet okay so what is this uh, shackle thing again I'm just gonna bust this wide open that's fine yep just just make a big square so adjacent weapons gain bonus one damage if they are not adjacent to any other weapon that is easy Just bonus 1% damage? Wait a minute. It's literally giving me just 1% bonus damage. <laughs> Maybe that grows. This is a piece of crap if it only does 1% damage. I thought that grows somehow. But yeah, we'll keep it for now. We're just going to buy a bunch of accessories, I guess. So we don't need projectile power, that's fine. I would love to get some luck just because we can't hold on to items to upgrade this thing. Actually, we just need a purple one to make it tier four, which is great. One more reroll. One more, one more. Nope. Only red flavor. Hell yeah. Red is my second favorite, so I mean, I'm gonna agree with you on that. All right, let's jump in. Hopefully this shackle thing grows because it's not worth keeping a item just for 1% damage for one weapon. You know? And with this particular character, I, th I think leveling up is super important to get all those empty slots that we need to power her up. Let me just read that description yet again. Plus one damage for every new inventory slot and attack speed does the same. Maybe it doesn't have to be empty. There was another character where, I can't remember which one, but they, they were powered up from empty slots, but maybe this one, it doesn't have to be empty, it just has to be new. And yeah, it's true. We're getting attack damage and attack speed every single time we were adding a new slot there. Let me see if filling up the slot with an item 
brings it back down at all. Just to prove the theory. Experience gain. Experience gain is important on this character. I'm going to take one. Alright, we're good. It didn't take away the damage. That is exactly what we want. I would love to get some early game luck. Is this luck? No, it's resource gain. The dice is luck, but we lose attack speed, but we have so much of it. So we're just going to keep rolling with it. I think luck is going to be important on this character. I, actually, I've been thinking luck is very important on every character now that I've uh, played a lot of this game. I didn't really hold too much value with luck before, but now I really do. And I forgot to check our passive item. Oops. I just want to see if it's getting higher than that 1% because, like I've been saying, 1% ain't anything to us. I'm going to build upwards. Upwards and to the left. Okay, that's it. 6% now. How is that scaling? I can't remember how that's scaling. Maybe it's scaling from our level or something? I don't know. Either way, it's scaling for now, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, not really. <laughs> this time slot is, is very quiet. This time slot is very, very quiet. So you're really the only person here, other than like one person on Twitch. Um, give me something good, please. I can't take weapons. If only I could banish. Can't take weapons. Can't really use any of that. Give me some more of that luck because we have a ridiculous amount of attack speed already. But we're, we're also attacking with only one weapon, so we kind of need it. Punch him harder. Oh my god. I am almost dead. I am very close to death. Oh boy. We also need some range. Just because we're not... We have everyone coming very close to us. Which is a dangerous situation. <laughs> we have no items. I usually fill it up with... Uh with weapons that's why haven't really used shields and I don't really want to start now crate collar is gonna save our life I guarantee you you are not quiet that's true that's true let's just say that you're the only one contributing to the noise right now life steal would be good or some kind of sustain because we don't attack with a lot of weapons, I'm thinking recovery would be better, but I might go with life seal anyways, just because there's some really cool life seal based items that I know I want anyway. We'll see. Wow, great axe. We might replace the fist with like a unique legendary item, but we're going to have to have enough luck to find it, first of all. Less resource gain, more damage. You know what? I'm going to skip on it. Projectile power and move speed. No thanks. Damn, we're not finding anything. We got two crate callers. It would be great if you didn't use curse words, I guess. But at my level of content creation, I don't think I'm going to get in trouble or anything. But I would also prefer it just in case people don't want to see it. You know, that, that you don't use it. Like, a, w spelling the, the words outright, you don't need to do that. You can, like, abbreviate it or whatever and people will get the point. You know, the F word can just be FK, etc, etc. Alright, let's see what we got. Damn, they really don't want to give me anything. I will take a potion. Wow, purple ceremonial, huh? How much is this doing? 
I honestly don't know what the scaling is on that item. How it works. What does this do? Dodge chance, move speed, less armor. Meh. Man, I'm not finding anything. I, I literally bought no items there. Except for a potion. Oh god. We need to increase this attack speed back up. Oh boy. You know what? With so little weapons, positioning kind of matters. Because if we get them all into a group and we can just blast them with the secondary effect of the uh, fist, that's going to keep us the safest, but... You know, auto-aim, auto-battler is in effect, and we can't really dictate where we're punching. Maybe there is a manual option to attack in the direction that you click or something, but I've never used it. And uh, I don't really plan on starting now. Water collar or crate collar? Of course, of course. Crate collar? Of course, of course. I guess we could go projectiles if we wanted to. Oh, I'm losing so much attack speed, but we have so much as well. I'm going to take this freaking ticket thing. Because it's there. Oh my god. Crate collar again. <laughs> we could survive just on crates. Oh boy. Warrior's shield. Adjacent weapon armor. Health, regen, resource gain. Okay, sure. I, I usually don't take that, but... We're going to take it today. I think when I do it... Ballers it? It blurs it? What is that word? Ballers? It blurs it? That's my best guess at what you're trying to say there. It blurs it. That's good. YouTube doesn't want the, the swearing, I guess. I haven't put any additional filters for, like, censorship or anything. But, you know, at some point I probably want to. Okay, so we got this guy over here. Plus any of me amount. Oh boy. Are we excited for this? Look how many empty spaces I have, it's ridiculous. I guess I don't have to be so clean with the design. Because we have so many spaces just available everywhere. We'll make this into a little six piece, why not? And then we will keep rolling, keep rolling. It's the only thing keeping me alive so far, so I guess I'll take some more. Ew, this is a really bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, one more reroll. One more. A little bit more. Nope, we're out of here. We're at 1 HP. Sally Balls. <laughs> I think that's safe to say. Sally Balls. Oh boy, oh boy. Don't hit me until I have something to heal me. Please, no. No, we got slashed. Well, that was my fault. We're gonna go back in. Oh no, this guy's here. You see this? You see this guy? He's chilling right here. I've never reached out to the devs or anything, but th this tends to happen if you die and you quit the game real quick. So we have a super strong enemy. <laughs> Not super strong, but like a level... A couple levels higher than us enemy that spawned. Oh, now fans are going crazy. Hopefully we get a little bit luckier with our items this time. If I could get those like double dice set, a couple of those, right away, we're gonna be golden. But that is all up to the RNG gods after all. We're gonna do the same type of arrangement here. This is fine. Crate collar, absolutely. Experience gain for less resource, I think, is worth it for this character. 
Uh, what are we looking at? We have these crappy dice again. One more reroll, one more, and we're out of here. Oh, here it comes with the squiggly letters. Translate it for me, what does it say? What's in the crates? Give me more level. Oh boy, we're almost dead again. Okay, we're good. We're good. So, what are you freaking out about, fan? Just build a bunch of squares. That's good. None of this is good for us. None of this is good. Just give me what I want. Come on. No, give me a blue dice set. Okay, crate color is good. <sighs> I'll take the other dice. Attack speed is suffering. Hmm, no. All right, let's get out of here. Nice. Sorry about what? <laughs> I don't see anything wrong. Let's just say this much. You, you've done a lot worse in other chats. Hey, Presto! Oh no! Was it a... What kind of assignment was it? I'm guessing it was like a group assignment? Well, at least you get to hang out now. Bam. Okay, more dice, sure. More dice, sure. That attack speed is really suffering. I do want to get rid of some of those dice, probably. Ooh. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, no. Let's turn back time and get those four hours back. If uh, if only you knew you are going to give up. Hindsight is twenty twenty, after all, right? Yeah, so we need some kind of sustain. Oh boy. The crates can be sustained, but it's a uh, luck-based sustain. Luck-based... Not even luck-based, it's like RNG-based. So even worse than luck-based. <laughs> Fan, are you just smashing the keyboard? I know what you're trying to say, but you're... you're you're falling outside of the lines a little bit. You're coloring outside of the lines. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> We're supposed to calculate electrical permittivity of air given almost no prior information. I have no idea what that even means. Electrical permittivity. Oh, how permeates? Is that like a different way to, I don't know. How electricity permeates per, permita, permeates the air? I uh, That's my guess. You can't type. It's all good, dude. I can't either. Uh, let's do resource gain. Or sorry, not resource gain. Ex experience gain. Here we go again. <laughs> We're in a safer environment earlier in the game. So it's a little bit better. I, got, I need those crates right away, though. Oh my god. Stay away. Stay away. Give me crates. Oh crap, we have projectiles. Give me crates. Where the hell are they? I need that crate. I need both those crates. No, oh, he touched me. All right, I need to stop doing the, the rag doll or ritual doll. This is the most I've died with a character in a long time. It's for determining the capacitor capacity. Man, this is this is all in a different language, basically, to me. I, I don't think I'm ever going to get it. It seems like something I will not need to know myself. 
I'll say that much. And Fan is still going crazy. Alright, let's go. Give me space, give me space. Please just give me the double dice. The good thing about the double dice is that it doesn't take away your attack speed. It's like all beneficial stats, I think. If only we could find it. Keep rolling. I know what I'm looking for. Yep. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Crate caller is fine. I don't even see how it's practical for me. I ain't doing no electrical work. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll be on a game show and they will ask you a very specific question about uh, electrical capacitor capacity or whatever the hell you were saying. <laughs> That's the only use that you might have out of it. You go on like Jeopardy or something one day. Are you talking about the conversation between you and yourself, fan? Because yeah, you could probably carry that on for a long time. <laughs> I'm just kidding, by the way. We're all here with you. Oh my god, we got a miniature lantern. Sick. That's a sick find. Um, I'm gonna have to rearrange this to fit this. Can't believe we got a miniature lantern. I'm gonna take this for the attack speed and the melee power. This thing's melee, right? It must be. Yes, it is. Couple more rerolls, one more, and we're out of here. So we have a lot more range. Yes, I love it. I could use like two or three more of those miniature lanterns just so that we can punch right from the edge of the screen to the other edge of the screen. <laughs> Man, miniature lantern is typically a mid to late game item for us. That's when we typically find it, but I'm happy that we got one here because it, it does two things for us. It does the range, which we desperately need, and it also summons more monsters. And if we can kill the monsters, we get more levels. With this character, the more levels, the more attack speed and attack power that they have. So it has two purposes for us. What am I even talking about? I don't know. I could ask the same of you. <laughs> We're all just lost in this world, okay? It's okay. It's part of the journey. Too many small dice. Not loving it. Not loving the small dice. One more reroll. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, I just said that we all don't know what we're talking about ever because we're all just lost little sheep in this world. No one has all the answers. And to be honest, you shouldn't pretend that you do. I'm definitely not gonna pretend that I do. I'm the last guy you should think that has all the answers. <laughs> da, da, da. Yo, if your internet's so bad, go steal your neighbors. That is pro-life advice from me. Write it in a book. It's really good advice. All right, we'll take more of this because we have so much empty space. Dragon blood, huh? What are you going to upgrade? Attack speed. I love it. Let's keep moving. What's my HP? My HP is fine. Oh, damn. This gives us way more experience. The enemies will be faster, which I don't think I care about. If I was a sheep, I would eat grass. That's so true. I saw this meme, uh, and it's kind of relevant here, but is basically someone's Twitter account or something they posted, I don't know how cows keep so chill all the time when every time they walk outside it's just like all food on the ground. And I was like, that's so true. That's like us walking outside and like the floor is just made out of McDonald's burgers or something like that. <laughs> it was gonna be dropped by you now or later, right? Um, 
it's kind of a joke now that you're, you're just gonna request that I play it all the time and I just don't. Damn, I would love to use the cannon because I haven't before, but we've built so melee that we can't turn around. That kind of sucks. I, I have, this is purple already too. It's, it's kind of perfect. Oh yeah. This gives us power too. So we have attack speed, melee power, projectile power, but less resource gain. I think it's worth it. Sure. Uh huh. Is it possible to make a grilled cheese sandwich green? Maybe there's a green cheese out there that you can make a green grilled cheese sandwich. Or just use food coloring to make the bread green for no apparent reason. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's like you would chill out after being used to it, right? <laughs> and it's not like the grass has a different flavor after a while and they could, it could almost be comparable to like, you know, today I walk out, it's a bunch of McDonald's burgers. Tomorrow I walk out and it's just like a floor made out of pizza. That's not what happens to cows. They just walk out and it's the same meal every single time. Oh damn, we have a deck of cards. That's nice. So give me that deck of cards because it gives us everything that we want. Let's keep building on this luck. We actually have a lot of luck. What do you do? Mm, yeah, it doesn't work for us because we're not using magic weapons at the same time. It's a very specific item. Man, I'm burning through this. Next floor. Ka-ching, ka, -ching, ka -chong. Nice. Oh boy. Get it, get it. Oh god, no, 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 no. I should have taken the res. Oh, you. <laughs> I can't believe this. I think I do, oops, I think I do really, really poorly without multiple weapons. Maybe we should try a different weapon than the fist. I just gotta switch to this guy so I can switch back to her. Like this thing is cool, but it requires armor to be better. Yeah, I don't like that. Should we try flaming claw maybe? Wait, what does this do? Attack strike the ground causing area of effect. Okay, let's try the war hammer. The frick? War hammer, let's go. So we have an AoE with this thing too. It's not as cool as the fist in my opinion, but oh my god, it looks almost exactly the same as a fist. Okay, well, we're trying it anyways. What are you talking about, Finn? Personally, I like the fist better just because it's funnier, but here we are. Yikes, this is an ugly looking <laughs> inventory so far. Holy crap. Okay, you just go over here. That's fine. Dice. Give me something good. Dice. <laughs> We're losing attack speed. Water color or crate color. Good. One more. How much do you take to combine three? Okay, I think the fist is better than the Warhammer because it only takes two to combine, meaning, I don't know, it's it's overall a stronger weapon per unit, I think. Maybe that math doesn't make sense. But I, I believe we will be switching the weapon out. If I'm lucky enough, I'm definitely willing to switch. Oh, 20 minutes till dawn, huh? 
Go search my YouTube channel. You'll see some videos. If they keep adding content to it, it will make a comeback to the channel, but I've already finished all the content. I really do like that game though. Really good game. But yeah, I don't think they're adding any more because they're, the, the team is working on a new game. It's called like Ember Spark or something like that, which is going to be 20 minutes till dawn, but with way more in it. I think it's a slightly different a slightly different play style. I think it's more dungeon crawling than uh, survivors like, but it looks great. But you'll you'll see their new one on the channel for sure. I'm I'm following the development of it. Yes, it definitely is more my style. I agree. Yeah, really great game. I think that I found it at a good time because nowadays I feel like 20 minutes till dawn would be a little bit too simple for my taste or yeah just like it, it doesn't have the complexity where I would want it to have the complexity which is a good thing that they're making another game that has more involvement in uh, or more elements involved I think but we shall see what does this do again less luck but gives us some stuff that we want now I'll skip on it here we go why does my inventory look this way? There you go, that's that's much better. More dice? Oh god. Alright, let's keep going. We got a touch of lifesteal. It is not working at all. We should go with recovery. But here's the thing, if we get enough level ups, we're just gonna attack really fast like a madman. Right? Eventually, hopefully. Man, this weapon sucks. I I just don't like it. I don't like the animation. <laughs> I don't like the sound that much. Not my favorite. If I could find a high level dual sickle, I would use it again. We use a dual sickle with the last aspect but um any tips there's some really broken things that you can do i can't remember all of it but electricity i remember is like pretty broken in that game you just gotta go super super deep into one aspect of the build um i would say the things that give you more power per heart or soul heart, you should invest in early. I can't remember what they're called, but there's something where it will make all of your summons do more damage per soul heart, I think it is. And then also the um, there's something that gives you more power per heart container that you have, but you have to not get hit to be super powerful with it. But if you can keep up with it and get it early, um, you'll be so powerful from all the extra health that you'll kill things faster and you won't get hit. So I, I always definitely do either soul heart or vitality, like the red hearts. Uh, I have that in my build so that I can use those additional perks that give me more power per heart that you have. But yeah, other than that, like go super hard into doing summons or a specific element. Some people work better with others, obviously. Okay. <laughs> Can't believe I'm dying so much. This is crazy. This this will be it. This will be it. We're going back to the fist. I'm not screwing around this time. Yeah, yeah. And obviously look at the, the, the synthesis combinations some really cool stuff in there that you want to go for I, I didn't find that game very difficult actually I, I did with a couple characters until I learned like just all the good stuff that you should be going for but yeah I, I felt like the learning curve on that one was pretty shallow is that the right word 
Like there wasn't a huge learning curve for me on that one. Great game though. Great game. I'm not sure if I loved the new content from their latest uh, DLC or patches or whatever they, they might have been the updates. I didn't enjoy it as much as the you know first look through it. I did buy it a little bit late and they are, had already added a new character, the, the Fauna character I think her name is. So that's when I had started playing it, but they added like a ninja girl or something like that. They added a sword weapon. It was interesting to see, but it wasn't groundbreaking or anything. You know what I'm talking about, right? I don't even know what you're asking about anymore. Okay, let's do this. This, this, this can't be this tough. What the hell's going on? I think the smart thing to do is get some recovery. Although I hate building recovery. But for this character, it makes a lot of sense. I don't know what the good recovery items even look like. Is this recovery? <laughs> this is probably not recovery. Oh my god. I, I can't help it. We gotta do the dice. This is recovery? Nope. Are you recovery? Nope. What is this? Dodge chance. Smoke pellets. That makes a lot of sense. Are you recovery? No. I know the green egg is recovery, but I don't like it for some reason. One more. One more. Here is the green egg. Less luck. No wonder I hate you. I'll pick one up for now, just so I have some type of recovery between rounds. I'm healing... 0 HP. Oh wait, it doesn't indicate when you're healing it. For life steal, they'll tell you when you're healing, but for the recovery stat, it won't tell you when you're healing that HP back. That's very interesting. I didn't think that would be a different... I, w I didn't think there would be a difference there. But there is. Alright, let's go. Give me that, give me that. Give me all this. I don't even care, dude. Refresh. Are you recovery? Nope. This is recovery, right? <laughs> Whoa, the pipe is damage for range? That's interesting. I don't think I've ever really picked up the pipe. Yep. 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 That's pipe. Are you recovery? Less move speed, though. I don't want to lose move speed. Alright, let's go. You've only won with Diamond so far. Which one's Diamond? Is she the one with the explosive gun? What's Diamond's vibe? I can't remember all of their names and their, their traits or whatnot. Muscle mummy. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing she's the one with like the ponytail and red hair or something. Oh god. Should we mix <laughs> mix in some ritual doll again? I'm gonna avoid it. I'm so tempted by it, but I'm gonna avoid it. Oh yeah, the guns aren't attached to the characters. In my mind, because of their traits, there were some guns that were, like, supposed to be used with specific characters. But, uh, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. I don't want to lose this luck that I'm building up, dude. What do you do? Melee power, damage, less luck. Get the hell out of here. Hmm. No. Please? Nothing useful. Seven hearts, yeah. Yeah, I remember her. If you're looking for an easy win, play as the Fauna girl. She's the one that turns into a deer. She is ridiculously easy to win with, in my opinion. If I was ever doing test stuff, I would always choose her because you can almost do whatever with her and, and win. <laughs> it's not really tough. All right.
right, let's go. Uh, more dice. Holy crap, we have a lot of them. Whoa, cross gun. Unleashes a storm of bolts. We have so little projectile power, unfortunately I can't use you. That sucks. Yeah, I've, I've been stacking these melee stones, unfortunately. Damage for less vitality. You know what? Why not? Bring it in. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess we have a tier 4 fist, which is great. I will still switch it out for a legendary item. She has, like, green hair. I, I literally think her name is Fauna. Unless I'm... No, I'm thinking about Hollow Life Girls now, aren't I? Her, her name might be... Actually, I don't know what her name is. She's she's a deer girl. She has green hair. She's dressed in white, I think. If I remember correctly, she's on, like... She's on the latter half of, of the list of girls. If there's two rows of girls, I remember her being, like, on the bottom row. It'll be very obvious. It, it'll, it'll tell you that she turns into a deer every 30 seconds or something like that. <laughs> oh, you're a funny guy. You are a funny guy. There's a lot of reasons. Don't you want to unlock all the achievements? That's why I played as every single character and finished the game as I'm... Oh, damn. We have to pick this up for the experience gain. We do lose a little bit of move speed, unfortunately. 18 luck, okay. Oh, baby! There we go. Luck is back up. One more? All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, she's a... Uh... The deer girl is super easy to win as. I also remember the, there was one girl who had, I think she had some natural or um, immediate lightning ability or something like that. But she was really easy to win as, as well, as long as you just go with the obvious choices for her upgrades. One more space? Sure, I'll put it right there. Why not? Magic? Don't need it. Wow! Lightning Fist! And we got another Power Fist! 19%. What do you do again? I lose attack speed and damage if I pick up anything else. I'm gonna play this character like I believe we should and just use one single item. Oh, I don't know if there is all of the characters. Yeah, on Steam, I played it on Steam. They might ha not have all of the recent characters that they've added to the mobile one. I've never seen it. When taking lethal damage, consume two ti titanites to protect the player from death. That's kind of amazing. I've never used a Philosopher's Stone, but we're going to today. We lost some vitality, we got some resource gain. Oh crap, why am I re-rolling? How many titanites do I have? I have four titanites, so I have two rezos. That's kind of sick. I really don't need to play it again, especially if it's on mobile. <laughs> I'll say that much. And if it has ads and that's the only free version, yeah, I, I'm probably not gonna play it again. <laughs> Do you only play mobile games? Asking for a friend. Give me this thing. God, it's it the other terrible thing about only having one item or one weapon is that you can't break these crates very quickly. Damn, I got a lot of levels. Look how messed up this inventory looks. Okay, I'm just going to leave it. Attack speed and crit chance. Love it. Oh, lantern time. It's lantern time. More of this. Why not? 
Whoa. Magic Staff leveled right up. Hell yes. We have Life Steal and Vitality now. Lightning Fist level 4. That's kind of amazing. I almost want to take it, but we shouldn't. This is going to give us less move speed, which we are have negative. I don't want to move slowly as a Barbarian. Doesn't seem to fit her vibe. My goodness, a flail. What do you do? Meh. Meh. Vitality gain, more recovery, less life steal. Um, you know what? That's totally fine. We're gonna lose all of our life steal, but that's okay. We're more of a, a recovery gal, anyways. Oh. I don't even need the luck anymore, but now that I found it, I'm gonna pick it up. Let's get in there. But only optional ads, optional. What are you talking about? Don't they just play the ads as you're on the free version of the game? Like they pop up every once in a while or whatever? What did you realize? She's punching. Oh boy, we're almost dead. I do have rezos. I might be popping a res. Oof. Nope. We're safe. This recovery, like it's, I don't think it's working that well. How much recovery do I have? 19? If I had 19 lifesteal, I feel like I would be recovering HP faster than what I'm doing with this 19 recovery. Interesting. You know what? I will take a potion for the health and for the additional enemies. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This is getting dangerous. This might get a little dangerous. Let's go. What do you do? Dodge chance. Plus two damage when successfully dodging. My dodge chance is zero right now. Negative five move speed for two seconds when getting hit. And it can stack. That's really messed up. I don't think I want that. Let's keep going. That's true. If I wanted to play Among Us... <laughs> I've only played it a couple times with my family. It's like okay. I think it's like fine. I don't love Among Us. Have I ever heard of Among Us? I mean, I live under a rock for sure, but not that big of a rock, <laughs> okay? I've heard of Among Us. Okay, what's our move speed? This will give us a bunch of luck if we have move speed, which I will work towards. I'm going to take it now, though. Yeah, let's get out of here. It was... Among Us did really well for a while because it was different. Oh my god. The res puts me at 1 HP. That's not good. It, uh... It came at a good time. It, it was good for a while, but people still enjoy it. I, I feel like I get really tired of it after playing a even a little bit of it. So I, I don't play it that often. And if I do play it these days, I'm like, my hand is forced to play it in, in some way. It's definitely not my first choice. I don't know anything. I probably don't. You have no idea what words are let alone games. I guess not. I'm willing to admit I don't know anything. Absolutely. Because I, I probably don't. Oh my god. Because of my resurrections, I'm almost wondering if I can get some life seal up in here. It's safe now to do it, right? I don't know if it is. Let's use one of you. We can't use a potion. Oh, damn, move speed. Enemy amount's gonna be increased. So now we're gonna have a bunch of luck for move speed. Oh, damn, dual sickle. I need it to be red, though. 
Sure, I'll take this ticket item. Ooh, yes. Enemy move speed is not good, but hey, what can you do? If I could get some winged boots, that'd be great. Nope. Winged boots would be really nice because then I can dash more and it gives me move speed. Oh damn, recovery's doing work. And so is life seal. We got this. Punch him through the wall. It is possible to punch him through the wall. Except we only have one hand that is punching, so we can't punch through the wall and behind us at the same time. That went way more smoothly than I thought I would. it would. Oh, wait. Spoke too soon. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Nice. The Metal Mario is saving our butts. See you guys later. That's a lot of leveling. Holy moly. I think we've reached the top here of the uh, the inventory. Sweet. Thank you. Winged boots, please. Where are those winged boots at? Uh, no, don't need you. What do you do? Projectile? Yeah, I don't need you. Potion. This gives us recovery, less armor. You know what? I'll take it. That is a good recovery item. Less item price? Sure. I have so much empty space that I'm buying whatever. You give me melee power. Less crit chance. Meh. Come on in. Yes. Give me more experience. What else do we got? More experience? Absolutely. Let's uh, reroll one more time. I will take you. And we're off. Holy crap, we hit for a huge amount of damage. 536 on a crit. I think that's really good for this part of the game. <laughs> of course, we're not hitting too many enemies at the same time, but... Hey, we're hitting them hard. Ooh. Oh god, how did I get hurt so much? Did I use a res? I feel like I have. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting me live. Let's keep going with these spaces. Every space is making me stronger. Give me this ectoplasm. Dust of enlarging. I always call it the ectoplasm potion. I don't know why. All right. Res. A straight up res. Not going to use that. This gives us crit chance for less damage. We do have a lot of damage from a lot of different sources. Like damage multiplier. So I'm going to take it. Usually I wouldn't. This is going to give us the damage back. Tier 4. Where's the legendary items? Turtle, dodge chance, attack speed, no armor. I'm interested to see how this goes. That gave me move speed, which is great. Damn. Yeah, these items are super cheap. <laughs> The item cost is very, very low. Okay, let's get out of here. So we have no armor. We're quite in the negatives for armor. But our offensive power is very, very high. Okay. Yikes. We're definitely a barbarian. Holy crap. I have so much titanite. Woof, woof. Like, does I, my res thing work until I have no titanites? That's kind of how I read it, but that seems kind of crazy. 
I have seven resurrections? It, it just sounds way too overpowered. But it's still here, right? Yeah, it's still, uh, it's still right here. Interesting. I was thinking maybe it disappears after one use or something, but that's not the case. All right, so we have this great axe. I kind of want to see how it works compared to the power fist. Should we switch it up? You know what? Let's switch it up. This is going to be one hell of a swap. Ugh. So put you over here. We're going to have to sell the power fist to try this out. So let's sell it. <laughs> kind of feels weird to sell it. Oh yeah. There we go. Now we're using a great axe. We'll see how it goes. Give me some of that life seal. Absolutely. What do you do again? Vitality and armor. You restore HP equal to armor, which is not a lot. I would almost like to take this just for the armor. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. All healing is less effective at this point. Take this. What does this decrease again? Move speed. F. Well, we took it. Let's do this. Who turned off their Wi-Fi? Who turned it off? <laughs> Are you talking about your mom or something? Okay. I believe you. Calm down. I believe you. Let's pick this up for the life seal and recovery. Mm, okay. Since I was begging for dice sets before, I'm going to take it. Oh my god! This thing's crazy! 1200 damage? It, it definitely has not a lot of range when it does the whirlwind attack, but it's kind of fun to watch. Yeah, I don't know if this was a good trade. <laughs> Am I family friendly? I'm, I'm great for everybody. Maybe not for people who want to swear all the time. What's FG? F. Holy crap. Wait, it must be working well because I have six level ups. Oh, I have the storm is here. I've never used that item. It requires you to have no movement speed. It would actually give us positive effects because it would bring us negative uh, move speed. But I don't want to do that. I like to move around. Give me that. Holy crap. So two damage for every move speed. We do lose armor. And we get dodge chance for move speed. I want to take it for sure. We have to move some stuff around. I, I can't even... Does that fit now? It does fit. Okay, perfect. Boom. Sweet. We need more move speed at this point. Just to power that thing up. No thanks. Give me some boots or something. Oh, what do you do? We don't have a lot of armor, so we're not going to use it. Move speed, please. Nope, that's too expensive. Oh my god. You said FG first, not FJ, so... Also, why? Why does it always come to this conversation? Is this going well? I'm almost dead. How much life steal do I have? Not a lot. Hmm. 
Yeah, our HP is tipping pretty low all the time. But I, th I feel like we can still make it work. Seven levels, holy. My multiplier is ridiculous right now. Just buy whatever, it doesn't matter. Even more XP gain? Sure. Sign me up. What else do you got? Even more XP gain? Sure, sign me up. Even more XP gain? You know the answer already. Oh, there was a big hammer that I could have taken. Oops. You know what? I'll, I'm going to take the wild card. It never really works out for me. This time we got a scorpion tail. I'd never seen this. Adjacent weapons create poison clouds on hit enemies inside poison cloud. I slowed. Damage scales with magic power. Enemies that die inside poison cloud explode into more poison cloud that is spelt incorrectly. Interesting. I'm going to use it anyways, but we're only going to have one weapon touching it, obviously. But I bought it, so we're going to use it. Holy crap. I can't use the arcane anvil. Nope. Not that. Not that. Hey, we got the boots. Lovely. I love the boots. This is going to give us less resource gain, which is totally fine, but gives us more power. Anything else I need? One more reroll. Oh, baby. Yeah, we need that. We need that for sure. Get me out of here. Um. No, I didn't get the Breaking Bad reference, to be honest with you. Funny enough, I was thinking about that show the other day. There's, there's been a couple of moments in my life where I just think to myself, I should watch that series again. I really enjoyed it the first time. But then there was one time when I tried and it just was so hard to get back into it again. I don't know why. I guess it's just because like I know all of the, all of the hardships everyone goes through and I start thinking about it. I'm just like, oh man, I'm not sure if I'm ready to see that again. <laughs> And then I quit after like two episodes in. And I was just thinking again, like the other night that I should start watching it again and give it another try to do another series, uh, just go through the series again. But I don't know if I'm going to. Yes, I've played both of those games. I like both of those games. Backpack Battles. I stopped playing because people were going too crazy on it. Like there was such a huge meta and I couldn't keep up. And Backpack Hero was really nice. It was a really nice game. Yeah, this game uh, reminds a lot of people of both of those games because of the inventory management system, of course. It's very, very similar. So I, I hear that reference a lot on this, on this channel whenever I play this game in particular. No, I don't want you. I want you. Oh my god, they're giving me so many lanterns. I'm taking it just almost purely for the enemy increase, not even for the range increase anymore. Give me something cool, give me something good. More dice? Nah, don't need any more dice. All right, I'll take it. We don't even care about armor anymore, even though we have this thing that's supposed to be healing us. Oh boy, we have a couple items that we need here. We need the speed as well. I might give up some of my dice because it's decreasing our attack speed and movement speed will give us that luck back anyway. 77 luck. Look at that. Let's get out of here. I'm weak. <laughs> Which game? Which game was the only one that made you cry? Backpack Battles or Backpack Hero? Let me think about games that have made me cry. Oh man, there's a lot of enemies, eh? I think this is the most enemies I've ever seen. But this barbarian's got it. She's got it made in the shade. She doesn't give a crap about anybody. Holy. Oh, Breaking Bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm too weak to watch it again. <laughs> I don't remember the end making me cry. I'll tell you that much. I have cried at shows, but very, very weird ones. I'm not sure if anyone would relate. 
la 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 la. Holy man, this is the most space I've ever seen on a character, I think. This gives me move speed, but it also gives me projectile power, which I don't need. Vitality, recovery, less armor. I'm into it. It's time to go barbarian. Let's put you over here. Just in case- Oh, what's this? Abyssal Cleaver. Okay, obviously we're taking this. Use stats. Gain attack speed based on lifesteal. Adjacent life stealing items grant bonus life steal. If adja adjacent to Divine Punisher, gain life steal based on recovery. This is not going to be a good trade for us. This has 1000 damage and this only has 456. It's based off of vampirism or life steal. Yeah, I really don't think this is going to be a good trade for us. I will take the box of bombs. <laughs> I can't believe I found the box of bombs. I wanted it on the last character, but we're going to use it on this character. Our inventory is so ugly. Are there any other legendary items or unique legendary items that aren't the Abyssal Cleaver and the Divine Punisher? I'm hoping so because I'll pick up like a yellow hammer or something. Less life steal, but a bunch of attack speed. I'm going to take it. Although I do want to get that life seal back. Man, I got a lot of cash. We're rolling. Here's life seal, but less luck. You know what? I think we can give up the luck. We have so much of it. Okay, let's let's roll into the next one. I have no more space. Your weird tell you? Okay. The last show that I remember made me cry was the rehearsal which is a very weird show. It's uh, by a very, very cool dude named Nathan Fielder. Uh, Nathan Fielder is one of my favorite guys, not only because he's Canadian, but he, he has made some shows that are essentials towards like who I am. They, they just play towards my humor and my curiosity and stuff like that. So his most popular show is, is Nathan For You. A lot of people know that show. And then he made The Rehearsal, which made me cry. It's just some crazy, crazy stuff that he's doing in there. And it's just like the reality hits it hit me. And then I was just like, oh, my God, I can't believe this is ha happening. Nathan Drac. What the heck is Nathan Drac? Am I gonna max out this freaking inventory space? I feel like I got one more row over here that I could do. But we only have one more floor to level up, so I don't know if it's gonna happen. This is just gonna give me a little bit of power. <laughs> I'm gonna take it anyways. It gives me luck too, I, not that I need it. Sure, we'll go into the next thing with a big risk. If I die from having this thing, I am going to cry because we're so close to the end. Oh, what do you do again? Elite enemy and we get we get um, power from killing elite enemies. Sick. There is a better way to put those two spaces together, I'm sure. We're going to take the poison vial because we have a lot of vitality. I don't even know how we got so much vitality. Roll, life steal. Okay, let's let's refactor here. Wait, I can just go like this. Easy, easy peasy. I'm gonna keep rolling just for items that I can save or something. I don't know. It's not looking good. What does this ring do? Range and experience gain is harmed. Sure, I actually don't think I want it. All right, let's roll in. Okay, now you're just going crazy. After I was so vulnerable about what I just told you about that show. And you make a joke of it? How could you? I'm just kidding. Oh my god, I must have used the res there. Holy crap. Or I'm just metal. I don't know what happened. Oh boy. I'm sure I'm using my rezos. Holy crap. I'm gonna watch the titanite count. 
I'm watching the tight tonight count and I'm not watching myself in the game. Oh man, there's a lot of explosions. Yeah, I'm losing tight tonight at a very fast pace. It doesn't even matter though, because I've unlocked everything, so who cares? Yeah, I, I don't have enough recovery or lifesteal for a normal run, but it's working. 14 spaces? Oh my god, we were really close to maxing out the inventory space for the first time. This is definitely the closest I've ever been. Holy moly. We needed, like, how much is that? 11 more spaces. We could maybe get them from Potion of Enlargement. How much life seal do I have? 32? It's worth it. It's worth it. Pick it up. Boom. Oh, here's one. We just need three more if we want to max it out. One, two, three. Can we possibly max it out? Hmm. No, I don't want to lose a life seal at this point. What do you do? Dodge chance, right. Give me more potion of expansion. Resource gain, experience gain, less damage. Meh. If I had that earlier in the game, maybe we'd be maxed out. Give me some more move speed. Come on, dude. Oh, oh, we're getting even closer. We're getting even closer. I should stop buying stuff to maximize my chance of getting it, but... Oh my god. Is this for real? One more. Oh god, but this is such a good item. I have to buy it, I'm sorry. Alright. The rerolls are ridiculously expensive. Way more expensive than buying items. Oh, we got it! I can't afford it. I'm selling things to get it. 14 bucks? I'm almost there. What else do I not need? I need this, maybe. We don't need experience gain anymore. Oh my god. We've done it. We've done it, everybody. I have maxed out the inventory for the first time ever and we are extremely strong so let's go into the boss battle. I can't believe there's not an achievement for that by the way. 3360 damage per hit. I'm, I'm using my resurrections but this guy's dead. Good job, Singularist. That is a crazy inventory. That is a very, very crazy inventory. Holy crap. All right, we finally did it after multiple attempts, but that is going to be it for the Barbarian. She was cool. I like the Barbarian. Who should we do next? We'll decide next time. How about that? We will be jumping back into God of Weapons. We still have a lot of this to play. I'm doing a full playthrough, so every character on every aspect, and I'm probably, I'm going to say maybe 30 to 40% done with all the characters with all their aspects. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to more. Leave a like if you're enjoying the content for God of Weapons, and also don't forget to subscribe. would really appreciate it. We'll be back with more God of Weapons in the near future.